Hello guys, this is Ashker, your English coach, your English teacher. But today we're going to learn some phrasal verbs in this video. So I'm gonna show you how to use some phrasal verbs. Like we, we have act up, we have back up, call up, check in, a lot of phrasal verbs we're going to learn today. Uh, but before we get started, please subscribe to the channel below to get any updates of this channel. Because it is, it is really important to know how to learn um, phrasal verbs, how to talk with using phrasal verbs. Okay, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get any updates of this channel. So when you are using phrasal verbs while talking, you, know, you sound more professional in English. Okay, so that's why it is really important to know how to use phrasal verbs, how to construct phrasal verbs. Okay, guys? Um, well, first of all, what is a phrasal verb? What is, this is the question for today. What is a phrasal verb? What is a phrasal verb? This is the question. What is a phrasal verb? What is a phrasal verb? So, how do you use a phrasal verb? What is a phrasal verb? So, a phrasal verb, let me try to answer this question for all of you guys. So, if you have any um, um, question, put it in the comment below. And remember to subscribe to the channel to have this channel go up to get any updates of this channel. Um, this is a, a, the answer of a phrasal verb. A phrasal verb are two words. A phrasal verb are two words. A phrasal verb are two words that's we put together we put them together we put two words together we have one and the second words and another one two words that give us two words a phrasal verbs or two words or more it can be three words as well three words that we put together to give us a completely a completely different meanings of the two of from those of the original words okay like if I take an example right here for, for you guys remember a phrasal verbs are two words that together act as a completely new verb with meaning separate from those of the original words Okay, make sure you get it right, okay, guys? Because it is really important to know how to use phrasal verbs. And uh, if I say act up, act, act up. Act up means to behave badly. Do you see it right here? To behave badly. Um, or you can say bad bad behavior bad behavior okay bad behavior we can, we can say bad behavior for act up and when we see act up right here what it really means act up okay guys make sure you get it right act up act up means to behave badly or strangely we can also say strangely. Behave badly or strangely. Okay, guys? Make sure you get it right. Because it is really important to know some phrasal verbs in English. Act up means behave badly or strangely. So what it mean, really means? Um, this is the meaning of act up. This is the meaning of act up. So let's see some example. For act up, let's see some example. I've already talked about the definition of a phrasal verb, a phrasal verb. But right now, let's see some example with the act up as a phrasal verb. Act up is a phrasal verb. This is act right here when someone is acting, and we have up right here. Up is an adverb adverb remember up is an adverb okay up is an adverb 
towards let me let me show you well what it is exactly towards um to a higher level or in intensity okay towards a higher place or position towards a higher place or position we can say up and if i say an example he jump he jumped top he jumped top do you see it right here he jumped up that means he jumped higher in a higher place okay he jumped up and we have act when someone is acting when someone is doing something you know um, that's when someone is doing an action when someone is doing an action it means doing action it means doing action up is an adverb but when we put them together when we put them together we have act right here and we have up that means to behave badly or having a bad behavior okay so right now let's see some example for each for this first verb right here act up when we have act up uh, act up if I can say the computer the computer is acting up the computer is acting up that's an example the computer is acting up okay the computer is acting up. This is the meaning of act up. That's the present continuous. That's the present. Present continuous. The present continuous. Acting up. He is acting up. The computer is acting up. That means the computer is behave badly. The computer is giving problem, is giving trouble. That means the computer is giving trouble. The computer is giving trouble. The computer is acting up. The computer may be frozen. Um, the computer can not work well and um, the computer is having trouble the computer is giving trouble the computer is acting up the computer be having badly okay that's what it means that's what it means so when we see act up when we see act up when we see act up you see bad behavior and secondly we see giving trouble and tough of all we see strangely strangely okay for act up the computer is giving trouble the computer is acting up the computer is acting up that means the computer is giving trouble the computer is giving trouble okay um, the computer is strangely
the computer is strangely because it is really easy guys so let's see another another example another phrasal verb let's see another phrasal verb remember we talked about the definition of actor so right now about the definition of a phrasal verb right here and let's see backup backup means to support support backup means to support support you can also say to reinforce 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 support someone okay let's see an example right here for backup backup okay um i'll back up you in the meeting tomorrow i'll back up you in the meeting tomorrow let's put it right here I'll back up you in the meeting. Tomorrow. I'll back up you in the meeting tomorrow. That's the first example for backup. I'll back up you in the meeting tomorrow. And let's see a second example. Will you back up me? With. With some money. Will you back up me with some money? back up back up that means to support or reinforce reinforce something to support someone okay guys make sure you understand make sure you subscribe to the channel below to get any updates of this channel because it is really um easy to speak english with Oscars english university or with me your english coach your english teacher Okay, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get any updates of this channel because it is really important, guys. Make sure you get it right. Put your head, put your mindset on the board, put your eyes, eyes on, your, on the board, and know it by heart. Know it by heart because it is really important, guys. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, and we have call off. We have call off. Remember, backup is support. And reinforce. Call off means to cancel. Call off to cancel. Cancel. Call off to cancel. Call off. Call off means to cancel something. Okay, guys, make sure you get it right because it is really important, guys. Call off means to cancel. So let's see some examples to cancel something. Um, let's see, let's see some example. They they cut off. They cut off. Sorry. They cut off the meeting. To bad weather. Weather. They call off the meeting due to bad weather. Okay? They call off. Do you see it? They call off the meeting due to bad weather. 
Remember, guys, they cut off the meeting due to bad weather to cancel something. That means they cancel. They cancel the meeting due to bad weather. Cancel, cut off. They cut off the meeting due to bad weather. That means they cancel the meeting due to bad weather. So make sure you understand because it is really important, guys. Okay? We talked about act up to behave badly, back up to support or reinforce something. Support someone or reinforce them. That's why I, I put right here um, um, for cut off, for backup, sorry. I will, I will back up you in the meeting tomorrow. You can say I. That means I will. I will. Okay? And we have, and the second example right here, uh, will you back up me? Will you back up me with some money? That's a question. Will you back up me with some money? It can be yes or no. It can be yes or no. And we have call off right here. They call off the meeting due to bad weather. They call off the meeting due to bad weather. Call off mean cancel. Cancel. They cancel the meeting due to bad weather. So make sure you understand you get it right, guys. And let's see a second example for call off. For call off. Let's see a second example. The second example right here, what it should be. What should it be, guys? Um, call off. Okay. I. I. Let's see if I put this example right here. I had to call. I had to call off my plans. My plans. I have to call off my plans because because I got sick. Because I got sick. I had to call off my plans. That means I have to cancel. My plans, call off. That means I have to cancel. I have to cancel my plans because I am sick. Because I got sick. Okay, guys. Make sure you understand. Make sure you understand. That's an example for um, call off. Call off. Remember, call off. Call off. Okay, guys? They call off the meeting. That means they cancel the meeting. I have to call off my plans because I got sick. That means I had to cancel my plans because I got sick. Okay? Okay, guys? Make sure you understand. Make sure you get it right because it is really important. And... Um, the next, the next first of all verb we're going to talk about is check in, check in, check in means to register a rival, to register a rival. We have check in guys, make sure you get it right because it is really important. Okay guys, to so, check in. Check in. What it means to check in, guys. Check in. Check in, guys. We have check in right here. Check in means to register a rival. To register a rival. To register a rival. Register a rival. Okay, make sure. 
you get it right check in we to register a rival check in so let's see some example right here that's what we're doing here we already got the um the definitions right here the meanings that's the meanings of of these phrasal verbs and we are doing example right here okay we have check in check in so that means to register a rival and let me see some example right here for check in if i say we need to check in we need to check in the hot tab we need to check in the hot tab and before three pm before three pm that's the first example we need to check in to check in we need to check in the hotel before 3 p.m that means we need to um, register a rival we need to register a rival we need to register a rival before 3 p.m register a rival that's what it means check in right here check in means to register a rival and we have this example right here we need to check in the 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 how tier before 3 p.m okay how tier before 3 p.m and let's see a second example for check in uh, the second example that we need to check in for check in is passengers passengers must check in passengers must check in um at least at least one hour before before the flight before the flight passengers must check in at least one hour before the flight one hour before the flight passengers must check in one hour that means passengers must register at least one hour before the flight and passengers must register arrival register arrival before the flight okay so let's see um so we've talked about check-in uh, we have been talking about check-in right now we are going to talk about clean up that means to tidy or organize tidy or organize clean up clean up we have clean up clean up means to tidy or organize to tidy or to organize okay guys um let's see an example right here for clean up clean up if i say let's let's clean up let's clean up um let's clean up the kitchen let's clean up the kitchen let's clean up the kitchen 
Okay, guys, let's clean up the kitchen right here. Clean up means to tidy or organize. Let's organize the kitchen. Let's organize the kitchen. Let's clean up the kitchen or let's tidy the kitchen. Okay, make sure you understand. Make sure you get it right because it is really important, guys. It is really important. So, let's see another phrasal verb right here. Let's see another. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below to get any updates of this channel because it is really important to know. I know that you love me. I love you too. But subscribe to the channel to go up this channel because it is really important that I'm doing for you. I'm showing you and I am teaching you how to speak English fast and easy with Askers English University. It is easy to speak English like a native, like an American, okay? So clean up means tidy or organize we've talked about act up back up call off and check in we've talked about clean up right here we're going to talk about come across come across come across come across means to find unexpectedly to find unexpectedly so to find unexpectedly come across means to find unexpectedly find unexpectedly so make sure you understand make sure you understand what i'm doing um put your eyes pay attention to this put your eyes on this on the on the board and know it by heart because it is really important guys that i am doing for you make sure you understand okay and we have come across. Come across right here. Come across means to find unexpectedly. Okay? To find unexpectedly. And let's see some example for come across. Example. Example for come across. And if I say the first example, I came across I came across an old an old photo I came across an old photo while cleaning the attic while cleaning the attic I came across that means I found I found an old photo while I found unexpectedly Unexpectedly, I found unexpectedly, unexpectedly, an old photo while cleaning the attic. Okay, let's see the second example uh, for come across, come across, and the second example gonna be she came. She came across. She came across um, as as a very as a very confident As a very confident, 
as a very confident um what i can say guys came across as a very confident doing the presentation The presentation she came across as a very confident during the presentation that means she she came across as a very confident during the presentation okay guys make sure you understand make sure you can you, you, you understand make sure you um, know it by heart what I'm doing here you have to study the phrasal verbs uh, watch the video, watch the video, watch the video, watch as much as you understand, as much as you get it in your heart, okay? Because it is really important, guys, to understand how to use these phrasal verbs in English while you're talking to your, I mean, your, your, your friend, your parents, your family, okay? So it is really important to know them, phrasal verbs, and that's the two example for come across. Um, I came across an old an old photo while cleaning the attic and she came across as a very confident during the presentation guys make sure you understand all right so let's see another example right here let's see another um, phrasal verb another phrasal verb let's see another phrasal verb guys um, we've talked about act up, back up, call off, check in, clean up, and came, came, come across, and count on. Count on. And we have count on. The count on means to rely on or to trust. To rely on or to trust someone. Okay? To rely on or to trust someone. That's what it means. To rely on or to trust someone. Okay? Count on. So let's see some example. What it really means to count on or to trust someone. The first example is, is you 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 can count on me count on me you can count on me do you see it right here you can count on me oh the second example the second example Yes, can can I count on you? For for the meeting? Can I count on you for the meeting? That means you can trust me. You can trust me. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Can I trust you for the meeting? Can I count on you for the meeting? You can trust me. You can count on me. Okay, guys? You can trust me. You can count on me. Make sure you understand, guys. Because it is very, very, very important. It is very, very, very important. So make sure you understand. So let's see another phrasal verb. Um, count, on, count on means to rely or to trust.
to rely or to trust. And let's see another example, cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off means we have cut off right here. Cut off means to disconnect. To disconnect or to stop. To disconnect or to stop. Cut off. Cut off means to disconnect or to stop. Okay? To disconnect or to stop something. So, if I say the first example, if I say the phone call, the phone call, the phone call, I mean, the phone call was, was, cut off unexpectedly unexpectedly the phone call was cut off unexpectedly okay unexpectedly the phone call was cut off unexpectedly cut off that means the phone call was disconnecting was disconnected disconnected unexpectedly the first call was stopped the phone call was stopped unexpectedly the phone call was disconnect unexpectedly the phone call was cut off unexpectedly that's what it means guys make sure you understand and you know it you get it and it is really important the phone call was disconnect unexpectedly. The phone call was tapped unexpectedly. And the phone call was cut off unexpectedly. Let's see the second example. The second example that I can give you for cut off is um um it can be like um let me let me try to find one. Mm, they They cut off. They cut off. Uh, they cut off ears. Electricity. They cut off ears. Electricity. electricity because he he didn't pay his bill He didn't pay his bill. They cut off his electricity because he didn't pay his bill. That means they disconnected. They disconnected. They disconnected his electricity because he didn't pay his bill. Okay, guys? They disconnected his electricity because he didn't pay his bill or you can say they stopped his electricity because he didn't pay his bill make sure you understand guys understanding of these phrasal verbs is really important for you a learner in english okay guys because it is really important when you are using um phrasal verbs while talking to someone that make you sound professional that make you sound more professional in English that make you sound like a native because the native American um, really like to use 
these four little verbs in English. Okay? Um, let's see another example. Let's see another four little verbs, guys. Let's see another phrasal verb. Um, um, let's see another phrasal verb. Deal with. Deal with. We're going to talk about deal with. Deal with. What it means? Deal with means to handle or manage. To handle or manage um, uh, the example that I'm gonna take with you is first of all uh, I don't I don't know how how to deal with with that difficult situations I don't know how to deal with that difficult situation okay I don't know how to deal with I don't know how to handle, you can't say, I don't know how to handle um, that difficult situation. That difficult situation is maybe hard, but that difficult situation is maybe sad. That difficult situation is can be a big problem for me. I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to deal with that difficult situation. That's what I put here. This is... Um, the, de the definition or the meaning of deal with to handle or to manage and you can also say I don't know how to manage I don't know how to manage that difficult situations I don't know how to handle it I don't know how to manage it I don't know how to deal with it okay that's the meaning of the deal with has a phrasal verb uh, this phrasal verb is really important to know what happened in, in English when you are using deal with instead of handle instead of manage uh, that sounds beautiful that sounds more beautiful that sounds more beautiful than handle or manage that sounds good that sounds professional in English when you are using deal with in English make sure you subscribe to the channel below to get any updates about this channel guys okay make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so this is this video is really important so make sure you subscribe to the channel to get any updates of this channel because it is what is really important. Astros English University. So you guys, uh, make sure you understand what that I was doing here for you. Phrasal verbs. Okay. So goodbye. Uh, make sure you get it right. Get it very well, guys, because it is really important. Subscribe to the channel below. See you to the next video.